Hey everyone, this is David. Welcome back behind the velvet rope. Let's just get right into it today because we are joined by the one, the only Miss Larsa Pippen. Hey guys. What is going on, Larsa? How are you? Are you in Miami or LA today? Let's just start with that question. Um, I'm actually in LA. I go to Miami tomorrow. You never, I know you're back and forth between the two. How are you today? What's going on? I'm great, David. How are you? Everything's great. Good. You know, I'm living just... my best life, David. I know you are too, though. Listen, isn't that what it's all about? This is the year, Larsa, right? It's going to be a good year. We are going to take over 2022. And listen, what more could we ask for? Real Housewives of Miami is back in our lives. I mean, how nice is that? I mean, it's, it's super fun, to be honest with you. I had a great experience shooting it. Um, my kids had fun. It was just a good experience for us. I mean, you are an OG after all. Like when you look back to the first season back in 2011, do you have memories of that time? I mean, it was such a different time in Housewives. It was so long ago. Do you, do you remember that whole experience? I mean, I feel like I was so, um, I don't know. I feel like I was so like innocent, you know? It was such a different time in my life. Like, I, I feel like I wouldn't, like, I wasn't comfortable with any type of controversy. I couldn't take on any heat. Like, I was like, oh, I don't want to be a part of that. I don't want to be a part of that conversation. Like, I just feel like I was such a mom and such like a wife that like that really consumed who I was back then. And then did you realize somewhere in that first season, like, wait, Housewives kind of goes with controversy. Oh yeah, no, I signed up for the show. And then once I was on, I couldn't handle any of the heat. I was like, get me out of this kitchen. You're like, what is going on? Do you have a favorite memory of that first season? Um, no, I mean, I just, there were so many good memories. You know, it, it was, you know, it, it was a, a special time in my life. You know, I, I was so consumed with my kids and they were so young and I feel like Scotty, so it was literally like, you know, doing everything for my kids, shooting the show. And now I'm in a place where my kids are self-sufficient. So it, it, you know, it's just different. It was, it's a different experience for me today than it was, you know, 11 years ago. That makes sense. Did you ever regret leaving? You know, I mean, housewives was a big thing and like you left and you were really busy, like you said, raising your kids. Like, did you ever regret, you know, those three seasons that you weren't on the show and then housewives just kind of became a thing? No, I feel like I, you know, I, I don't kind of regret anything that I do. I kind of feel like it was, you know, it was not meant for me to shoot the other seasons. I was really consumed, you know, with Scotty, you know, he went back where he wanted to work for the Bulls. So we moved back to Chicago with my kids. I, you know, I feel like I had a great life back then too. So I don't regret anything. I don't regret leaving the show. I feel like it just makes sense for me to be back this year. And, you know, that's where we are today. Did you have any reservations in going back, you know, like? No, now? I felt like, no, I just felt like I was in Miami. Um, why not? You know, I asked my kids if they wanted to be a part of the show and they said, yeah, that, you know, I asked them if they would film with me. They were like, yeah, it'd be fun. So I was like, all right, let's do it. Did it feel like riding a bicycle? Like, oh, this is what I remember. I mean, like the world has changed. Like, how is this experience different? You know, I mean, like social media is such a big part of housewives now. Oh, it's, yeah, it's definitely night and day from what, it, you know, how it was before. Totally. What would you say is the highlight of like this whole experience being back now? I mean, there's been, we've seen lots going on for you this season. Um, you know, I feel like just, you know, um, like, you know, where, where I am in my career, you know, I'm working hard on my jewelry line, just the things that I'm passionate about, my charities, my jewelry line, my kids, just, you know, all that good stuff that I was excited to basically, um, you know, show the world. Well, one of the things that you showed the world, Larsa, is your OnlyFans account. I mean, oh let gosh. me let me just be jealous of this. Just can I just like live vicariously through you for five minutes? I mean, sure. I can share with you. I'll share with you, David. It's all yours. Thank you. I mean, ten thousand dollars a day. Like, oh, can I can I just relish in that for a minute? I mean, honestly, it's it's a platform where basically you get to engage with your fans. You get to you know, be who you are. There's, there's not really haters on that platform. I haven't witnessed any. I just feel like the people that follow you really want to see, you know, how you're navigating, what you're doing, you know, what your life is behind the scenes. And so for me, I've, I've had a great, you know, experience on OnlyFans. I've made money. It's been fun. I've gotten a chance to get to know my followers. So it's been a win-win for me on the platform. And you describe them as your friends. So, right. It's, it, you get a lot less hate and like, you know, on there than other platforms. 
yeah, it's, it's just like a, you know, it's, it's like people that really want to see you win. I mean, they do want to see your feet occasionally. Do, they do want to see your body, but they come with that energy where they want to see you win. And that's what it's about. That's why it's called only fans, right? It makes complete sense. Right. It's, it's called only fans because there are no haters out on the platform. What about people, you know, listen, you've made it clear that it is just your friends. Sometimes they want to see your feet, but like what, how do you handle when someone does want to take it inappropriate, you know, as they do, even on Instagram, people want to take things in an inappropriate I mean, listen, I I get it. I get it. Everyone, you know, feels comfortable in different situations. I am not one to judge anyone. You know, I, I basically, I'm like my conversations with, with my friends on OnlyFans are, are basically like, how's your day? What are you doing? You know, I have guys on there that are literally truck drivers and they're literally like, Hey, I'm driving from Indiana to like, you know, like Michigan or, or driving to, you know, California. And I'm like, Oh my God, be safe. Like it, it's, it's a great relationship. I, I don't have time to date right now. Cause I'm so consumed with like thousands of guys that are on OnlyFans. It, it, you know, if I miss dating someone, I just go on OnlyFans and I get all the love I need. I love it. What about, you know, what, what advice would you give someone, you know, that wants to, that's out there listening, you know, man or women that wants to start out and like wants to start an OnlyFans and, you know, maybe one day get to a $10,000 a day and have all these friends, like what, what advice would you give someone? I think try it, you know, try it and just post content that you're comfortable with. Um, it, well, there's no harm in it. You know, you're, you're responsible for your own platform. So I just feel like, why not try it? I agree. Like try it. And like you said, there's no haters on there, but why do you think some of your, you know, colleagues like Adriana, Alexia, why do some of your friends have an issue with your OnlyFans existence? I feel like a lot of them are not, you know, up to par when it comes on to social media platforms. I feel like there's so many different platforms that have started off, you know, with a stigma or whatnot, and have basically evolved into the platform they are today and so for me I feel like you are responsible for what you post you know you can post sexual you know sexual photos on Instagram you know your content can be sexy on Instagram so why not post on a platform where you basically get to you know enjoy the perks of it you own your own platform so you should you know you work hard for your photos like I enjoy taking photos I should be paid for my photos I love it who would you think would be the most successful on OnlyFans out of your castmates if you were going to groom someone? And who do you think? I mean, I'm sure they would all like to do it, but who do you think would have the most success? I feel like Lisa would because she is a great twerker. So I feel like if she did a couple twerk videos, she would kill it. I would have said Lisa as well. Mm -hmm. How are you, how do you get along? Like, who did you bond with the most out of, you know, the people that you haven't filmed with, like Lisa and Garrity and Julia, Nicole. I mean, I feel like I got along well with all, you know, the whole cast. I feel like I'm like a girl's girl. I cheer for all the women. I want all of them to win. Um, so I really didn't come into the show thinking like, oh, I'm going to bond better with one person. I feel like I have di- different relationships with all the girls. So, you know, I was, I was open to all the women. What has been the biggest high about this whole experience being back? Like what, what's the best thing that's happened as a result of it? Mm, now you have, like, now I have an excuse, like, Hey guys, I have to go to dinner and film. Like when I talk to my kids, I'm like, Oh my God, I love you guys so much, but I have to go to work tonight and I'll be back in two hours. So it's like, I have an excuse to hang out with my girlfriends. I love it. What about, you know, there's been so much talk this season about Alexia and, you know, her whole storyline and, you know, the fact that she's like reconnecting with Herman's, you know, lover, ex-lover. There's been Mm -hmm. such a visceral reaction amongst the fans. Like some people are loving this storyline. Some people are like, oh my God, why are you talking about him? He's not here. Like, why do you think there's such a visceral reaction to Alexia and her storyline? 